here's something that could be a problem for your stairway. Um, and of course, it will be this. Any gaps that you have in the back or the front of the bottom of the stair stringer. And for, for realistically, for any part of the stairway, if you have any gaps, that should be your first clue that there might be a problem with the stair stringer calculations for the risers and the treads or the landing height, the floor height, whatever you're nailing the top of the stringer to, whether that has been, um, that's, whether or not that's been installed at the right heights. For example, your ledger. If your ledger or your landing wasn't built at the right height, then you could get a gap at the bottom or the front. Another thing that could be the problem could be the floor. The floor could be a little out of whack, or you could even have a buckle, a small buckle in the flooring. Um, uh, you could have a joist that's um, smaller and a joist that's larger underneath the floor creating the problem. There are a few things that can create the problem. Your job as the stair builder will be to figure out what that problem is. And the first step to your solution or even resolving the problem will be to place a level on top of any one of the stair treads or even a few of them. Check the bottom and the top. It's not uncommon on long stairways to have a gap either in the bottom, either in the back or the front of this area and um, have the stairway a little, little more out of whack at uh, either end of the stairway. So that's not going to be uncommon. Um, now, don't forget that if you have your stair stringers cut correctly and you think, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and shave a little bit off of the front here and make this flat because I want it to look good, um, then that could change your first step or the height of the first step um, from the floor to the top of the tread. Do not forget about that. Whether the gaps in the back, I should say in, in the in the back or the front, but that's not true. Because if you have a gap in the front and your riser was cut correctly, then it would obvious, obviously be a little longer. Um, so you might need to cut the back if that was the case. So anyway, just wanted to point that out. If you have any gaps um, in these areas, then it wouldn't be a bad idea to check out um, the steps or the treads before going any further to see if all of your calculations are correct or if anything is out of whack or out of level.